Hello and welcome to the summer term. So if you're new today, um, then big warm welcome to the class. This is my studio where I film most of my lessons from. And today we are starting the term by looking at a very important tool that I use a lot and this is um, sketchbooks. So if you haven't already got a sketchbook, then you're going to start one today. So we're gonna have a look at some of mine and um, the handout and some other inspiration and get started. So the first one I'm going to share with you um, is an exhibitions book that I use when I go up to up to London um, or anywhere around the country where I see a show and I make notes and I do drawings and I keep little bits and pieces um, and make sketches. So I would really encourage you to have one of these if you don't already. Um, I always try and decorate the covers um, to make them a bit more exciting and so that I know what I'm dragging out of my studio because I have quite a lot so you want to be able to recognise which is um, the sketchbook you need for that day. I've also got a very small one here which I use for playing with composition. Um, there's lots of collage in here, torn bits of paper and things that inspire me so if I'm stuck for ideas one day I might have a look or a play in this one. Uh, another sketchbook that I want to share with you is my uh, En Plan Air, which is here. This is a really big A3 hardback sketchbook, which is great for when you're out and about because it's something to lean on. And if you've got more time, you can spend more time drawing larger scale. So you might recognise some of these landscapes if you've been drawing on plan air with me and this is um, all charcoal you'll notice or pencil these were some drawings of trees that I did last year lots of mark making so I just put that one away and now I've also got another one that I use a lot in my studio. This one, um, again, lots of collage. Now this is more of a sketchbook that I play and experiment in. So you might want to have a sketchbook where you use new materials. So you try out new paints. Um, so it's really a private space for you to experiment without the thought of other people seeing what you're doing. <laughs> Having said that, I am sharing all this with you today, but um, you don't have to share every sketchbook you do. So quite often at the end of the day in my studio, I might have a bit of paint left on the palette and I might put it on a page in here, let it dry, and then that's a good surface to be working on for the next day. I've also got a much smaller um, landscape sketchbook. This one I've just started on plan air because it's very small and discreet and I can carry it around with me. Similar to my exhibitions book, sometimes you just want something tiny that you can fit in your bag and carry around. Uh, another one here this one um, again lots more sort of experiments and playing with composition because this is what really excites me so I want you to start a sketchbook today with something that really interests you so it might be portraits um, it might be that you want to do um, more observational drawings you might keep your sketchbook just for one particular medium um, and also, um, as it's not always difficult to get out to the shops in the short time that we have our lesson, um, I'm encouraging you to repurpose an old book. So this is one I did a few years ago, which I've recently added to. And it was one I did because a lot of my work relates to memories. It's actually memories of my childhood. And I've taken an old book which was 
going to be thrown away by a library because some pages had fallen out the middle and I've repurposed it. So I haven't decorated the cover, but it might be nice to do that um, if you wanted to, because it just makes the book exciting and I think more interesting to look at. I've painted on the pages. Um, I've used lots of different materials. I've used photographs. I've sewn some pages together. I have put different materials on the pages, even collage. And I've picked out some words as well in some cases that might inspire, um, I was gonna do a drawing here. So drawing or painting. Um, I've glued quite a lot of the pages together and held them in, held them together with paper clips, which I can take off now, just to make the surface stronger for drawing on. Um, and actually, once you add a layer of paint to the page, you'll notice it becomes much easier to work on. This is watercolour. So today you might want to get your watercolours out. You might want to get out your acrylics. Um, some PVA glue is quite handy if you want to glue the pages together and um, inks. So really you can have a lot of fun with this. So I also, while I've got you here, wanted to share with you a very famous um, sketchbook. It's actually one that Frida Kahlo created many years ago and this was like a diary that she kept and it's just really fascinating to have a look at this and on my handout there is a link to lots of other famous sketchbooks that might inspire you um, Da Vinci Matisse and also some contemporary ones this artist here Sonal Nathwani her um, sketchbooks are amazing they're repurposed books and she paints beautiful flowers in them which you might want to have a look at as we're going to be doing um, some botanical work in the following weeks so I hope you enjoy this I'm not expecting a complete sketchbook by next week by any means but it would be really lovely to see that you've made a start in one and I just want to encourage you to use a sketchbook um, alongside your work because it really will inspire you. Um, if you keep all your things that you love in it, things that um, interest you, that will then encourage you. Um, if you're ever stuck with what to paint, you can just have a flick through your sketchbook and hopefully come up with lots of ideas. So I look forward to seeing what you create and um, see you all next week.